I used to even to take my father's photos akiwa amelala na ziweka kwa WhatsApp eh in the mob mimi nilikuwa natoa nguo kwa mazishi ya baba yangu what yes ni sauti sasa zinakuangea eh ni sauti zinaniongelea On a normal day Samuel wakes up plans his day and goes about his jewelry selling business but something happens sometimes he hears voices that give him instructions sometimes he follows these instructions now what do these voices tell him and why does he follow these instructions Samuel is here to give us a gist of his life and his story karibu sana asante sana kwanza kawela kuni invite kwa hii platform ni ongea about mental illness ni pane story yangu mm-hmm. about mental illness. Okay. Sasa mimi nimekuwa kama watoto wale wengine tumesoma vizuri lakini kulingana na na maisha ile nilipitia nikiwa shule haikuwa nilikuwa haikuwa sambamba na my siblings. Okay. Because most of the time nilikuwa nakataa atakwenda shule saa zingine nafukuzwa kama nimefanya kitu mbaya kwa shule na ikaendelea tu hivyo mpaka wakati nilimaliza darasa la nane mm-hmm. na sikuendelea kwa high school kwa sababu i got affected na ule alikuwa ananifundisha who was taking care of my education was my grandmother mm-hmm. my grandfather lala mm-hmm. na after I finish school after two years class eight aka pass wakati ulikuwa ukisoma ukiwa mm-hmm. shule ukisema una struggle mm-hmm. maybe utaki kwenda shule mm-hmm. for you ulikuwa una nini nilikuwa niliko na kuzuia usiendelee na shule ama unakuwa different from other children ilikuwa ni nini unaona ilikuwa inakuwa affect zaidi ni masomo okay i, I ni kama vile tu kitu ilikuwa lazy mm-hmm. not, a, not a was lazy mm-hmm. but ni ile energy ni ile ukwa maybe i'm not motivated na hali ngumu pia ya maisha mm. maybe ndio ilikuwa inafanya nikose ni motivation ya shule mm-hmm. so but siku anajua maybe there is something serious ilikuwa inanisumbua mm-hmm. because most of the time ananiambia brother zako na sister zako we are family of six uh, six mm-hmm. and I'm the third born okay. so au wote wengine okay hata nyumbani wazazi wangu wameletwa wangeletewa makesi kadhaa Samia amefanya hivi Samia amefanya ile mm-hmm. so hata wengine walikuwa na shindo where you are the only different among our mm-hmm. among, among our family mm-hmm. niliendelea tu hivyo mpaka sasa wakati nilimaliza shule pia nikakaa nyumbani miaka mbili and then my grandfather akakufa mm-hmm so ile asa trauma ya kutoendelea na masomo plus trauma trauma ya my dad my grandfather kukufa ili ni blow out nikaanza kusikia mambo mingi mm-hmm. kwa maisha nilikuwa nasikia masauti zikiniongeresha radio zikiniongeresha tv zikiongea juu yangu watu wakinifuata Lex hivi tu ndo umeamka umesema ufanye mambo yako lakini kuna kitu inakuambia ufanye kitu fulani. Eh hey, mara mingi mm-hmm. kama unasikia tu masauti nakwambia we fanya fa, enda kwa bank tu ile seven umefanya we enda state house we ingia kwa hii building we masauti ambayo hani hainiachi. Mm-hmm. Yes. Haikuachi hadi ufanye vile yanataka ufanye. Yes, and it's exactly that what I used to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially wakati kutoka hata the things wasn't. Mm-hmm. Unaona sasa wakati my grandfather alikufa. Sasa that's the little things started happening in me. Sasa ndio nilianza kusikia masauti finally nika burn out. Inakwambia utoe nguo na kwambia unaweza take back unaweza amsha nani huyo mfu sauti inakwambia eh hey. so what would you do ikikwambia you just talk to people unawaambia that you tend to mfu yes oh my goodness so people wakaona ndio waliona okay people walikuwa wananicheka kwa sababu that time hatukuwa ni nini inanisumbua mm. yes 
na nikaendelea tu hivyo kwa miaka kadhaa mpaka wakati nilienda hospitali nini nilifanya ufikie mahali useme uende utafute usaidizi hospitali ni ile maisha nilikuwa napitia mm-hmm. na ile maisha society okay, ile maisha nilikuwa napitia unaona kama wakati nilikonjeka nilikuwa naenda health center zetu hakukuwa na dawa na hakukuwa na specialist uh, nika nikaenda tu napewa madawa ya malaria mm-hmm. na dungwa shidano zingine sijui ni za nini naenda nyumbani na rara but still problem haikuisha mpaka mm. wakati sasa nilikuja malaria men hospital Ule mtu alikuwa amekuelezea maybe ujaribu madhari ama wewe ndio uliona maybe shida ni psychological sasa Okay mimi mm-hmm. nilipelekwa madhari kama sijui sijui mm-hmm. Nilikuja huko Nairobi mm-hmm. nikiwa harakati ya ku at first sikuwa na uzaji wa rare nilikuwa na uza cake south b I used to hook around there. Mm-hmm. So one day I got in a mess. Nikaingia kwa church on a Sunday around Mombasa Road, Nairobi West where I used to do my business. Then uh nikachukua hard bag. Voice to nakwambia enda pahali. Ukifika pahali nikachukua hiyo hard bag. Mimi in a little sense kwa nataka kuchukua hard bag ya huyo mama atiniibe kitu ama niende nayo mm-hmm. nilikuwa nataka nipate seat mimi nikae tu nisikilize nini mahubiri pia sasa they mistaken me na mwizi mm-hmm. so i was beaten taken to police station ya ilangata then wakati nilifika huko nilikuwa nime, nikachapwa sana nikafungiwa cell nikaulizwa wewe kweli mimi gani anaimba kwa church but the problem is hawakuwa wanajua huyu mtu ako na shida ya kiakili na maybe angetaka kupelekwa hospitali instead ya kuchapwa ama kuwekwa cell mm-hmm. nikiwa huko cell nilikuwa very religious sana na zile masauti zangu ile masauti nilikuwa nasikia those hallucination zilikuwa sasa zinani push sana zinaniongeresha kwa nguvu sana zinaniambia najisikia niko kwa ndege ama sasa ninaimba tu nina, zinaniambia ni sifu so nikiwa huko cell kazi yangu ilikuwa ya kuimba unaona unaimba okay i used to go to church mm-hmm. so nilikuwa na, naimba tu mambo ya john sana wakati alikuwa korokoro mm-hmm. so i used to relate with such uh, scriptures mm-hmm. so shida nyingine inakuanga i had a lot of energy energy nyingine that is so high unaweza fikiri wewe ni president unataka kwenda outside at that time nani alikuwa president nilikuwa nasema nataka kwenda kuona obama mm. naenda state house kuona kibaki sometime hata masauti inaniambia i was so sick kwa sababu kutoka kwa police station huko nilipelekwa Rangata kupelekwa kotini kuanza charges za za handbag na semanga ni kibaki alinipeleka ah. unaona sasa hiyo masauti delusion zinakwambia mm. ni huyo ni yeye ama unasikia ni yeye ama wewe unaona ni yeye then i realize that was not the case because wakati nilitoka nilienda kotini niliingia kama ninaimbia nina behave kama watu wa pioja mahakamani bila wana behave huko kotini i was taken to kibera rocket nikiimba huko tu naambia judge wewe naanza kumuimbia judge akaniuliza wewe unasoma nikamwambia sisomi because i was a very young man eh? nikamwambia mimi sisomi akaniambia nataka kukupeleka pahali wende madhari uangaliwe then ukuje utaniimbia vizuri mm-hmm. that's what happened so him he realized kwamba mm. this is not you're not yourself no, i'm not myself sapo ndo life yako ili change that's how my life changed mm-hmm. lakini my life ili change wakati ili nilipelekwa madhari okay. na police na sikuwa najua ni wapi na nikalazwa huko for three months waiting to go back to court 
So nikiwa malaria ndio nilikuja sasa ku realize after a month because ukifika huko you are sedated mm-hmm. you are given medication and then now they start reviewing you okay so that is when everything start changing i start understanding na hapo ndo ulikuja kujua kwamba kitu yenye ulikuwa kistrago na iko na jina na it's a real condition yeah in in ambio is a health condition inaitwa bipolar mm-hmm. na iko na two extremes okay sometime hiyo vile unasikia ukiwa high sasa ukiwa high face inaitwa mania face na ingine ukiwa chini inaitwa depressive face mm-hmm. so in our alternative so most of the time when i was up is when nilikuwa nafikiria hivyo mambo ya kuwa president hiyo mambo ya kutoa pesa na kupeana kwa barabara ama hiyo mambo pia ya kutoa nguo nimetoa nguo na hiyo sasa inakujanga na depressive ukiwa depressive face ni saa ile unajifungia kwa nyumba kama siku tatu bila kukula bila kuoga mm. bila yeni kuongea hutaki anything yes ni nini wasu ushaifanya while una struggle na hii condition before ujue kwamba ulikuwa una struggle na nini mm. ikafanya mpaka like we imagine it could have been worse what is the worst thing uliyoifanya ukiwa kwa hiyo situation okay instance ni mingi mm-hmm. lakini ta pinpoint kala nitoke nyumbani vizuri niseme naenda biashara on the way in the attack sitarudi nyumbani jioni so i'll start now going to the bank on a day like there is a time i had with save like 10k nikaenda ku withdraw nika za kupea watu kwa street nikakuja nikiwa salimu yanga na wapepe sasa they were very happy especially the ladies they were all around me and they did not understand that, uh, that I'm helpless or I'm in need of help but they just took the money and say oh thank you so when they used to tell me like that they i think they motivate me even to give more Do you know those jewelries I sell? Mm-hmm. I start now giving them out. Hiyo ni stock unapeana yote. Eh, stock yangu unapeana yote. Like now, I have lived with this um, live with this condition 20 years. Since 2004. Mm-hmm. And every year I could relapse like two times. Relapse ni kurudi kwa ugonjwa. Mm-hmm. So if I relapse the 20 time, two times Unaona the stock I have accumulate okay. eh, na peana yote all the cassevina I have nime withdraw ninaanza ku use extravagantly na wakati unapitia hii situation mm. kuna vitu zingine wasi unafanya other than kupatia na pesa mm. kuna watu wana take advantage of you inakuanga the situation kama ndio ukuje kujigundua what happens mm, inakuanga kuna time hata ninafanyanga ka vitu weird very weird things na cause branda like unaenda kwa club kwa pub bar or restaurant unaweza chukua chakula mtu akikula hapo unaenda unaanza kukula so unachapwa kuna wengine maybe ule mtu atakuwa understand maybe atakuitishia zako haya ama unaenda kwa pub like uh, i remember i have been three times i have been beaten so badly because nimkiingia kwa pamu naanza kumwagia watu pombe zao nakuta watu wakijivinjari vizuri naanza kumwaga pombe zao eh so na chapa sasa ni sauti inakwambia nae ni kisauti ile inaniongeresha mhm eh inaniambia just go this way you see these people yeah alafu sasa nikifanya hivyo so how how are you what i'm doing unajua they don't understand mm. they they will just beat me up and throw me out of the place okay. yes saizi so, do you have a family na hii situation ni affect your family yako hii okay hii situation it may affect sana about my family because every time that i get this episode they learn they learn away from me mm-hmm. But uh, since I started like uh, three years back we have been good terms. Wow. Yeah because now 
I don't get and and for the last three years I have not get sija konjeka mm. sasa hiyo ni kitu ya muhimu kwa sababu nimefanya nimekunywa ida wa zangu very faithfully and I don't miss I have a junction mm-hmm. na dawa but they are very expensive so mm. I try me my level best to take care of my education first eh, because it makes me productive right yeah you see now i have a business there mm-hmm. i have a family and i prioritize myself so that i can be able to take care of my kid yes. that is i have one daughter mm-hmm. and she's in school so she motivates me sometimes and she makes me even if okay taking this medication every day is very tiresome unasikia umechoka miamka ni asubuhi umechoka you don't want to go out you just want to relax you to 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 lay in the house aya una feel that uh, okay they have appetite unaona sasa ni kumkubwa vile tu inatakiwa una maintain your diet kwa sababu you keep eating eating those are the side effects are. those are the side okay. effect of this medication there is a time you you feel at some time you feel agitated for nothing unasikia anger sometimes imekuja and also you feel you are weak sometimes you feel you are weak because of mezikuni wa sana mm-hmm. so ni poa unaangalia your diet we advise to take a lot of water mm-hmm. and to take fruit so much na tunakula maboga hivyo mm-hmm. instead ya kusema you will keep away from medication because when you, you say that it means you will be in the hospital okay. on the hospital i have spent most of my time out my time in Malari hospital do you know Malari hospital yeah. along the road along the road mm-hmm. where that's where most of my time eh, have lost because if fire mm-hmm. i sleep two years two times i remember there is an incident that i will never forget up today oh, when when my dad died i was here he died because of corona i was here and you see there was a lot of difficulties going uko juu ya corona mm-hmm. that time let me tell you the things that i did what happened i used to even to take my father's photos akiwa amelala na ziweka kwa whatsapp eh in the mob mimi nilikuwa natoa nguo kwa mazishi ya baba yangu what yes ni sauti sasa zinakuangia eh ni sauti zinaniongeresha Sanya do this stop say don't do like this do this stop doing getting attentive like that do this says what una ku treat aje kwa mazishi ukifanya kitu kama hicho okay people becomes at least when you remember they allow us they understand me their friends and their neighbors really do just look on they could not say anything mm-hmm. Yeah, so when my dad was buried like today the following day i was taken to hospital for admission yeah it triggered them it triggered those are the triggers so how do you live your life to avoid these triggers ama how do you manage them do you go for counseling do you go for therapy na kusaidia na pia dawa okay unaona hii condition yangu when mimi i learned about it niliambiwa ni health condition. Yeah. Si kutaka kujua kuambiwa nimerogwa. Mm-hmm. Si kutaka kuambiwa ni kikwetu. Mm-hmm. So that ni, ni get heal. Niliambiwa is a healthy condition. Walita nini? Eh wananiita bipolar mood Bi- disorder. What what uh, level are you? Niko bipolar 2. Bipolar 2. Bipolar 2. Okay. So mm-hmm. nikasema na mimi I'll take my medication and I can advise you like uh, counseling has helped me so much. Yo kwenda and counseling ndio ilinifanya ni accept. 
ndio nilifanya ni jacksept so i took my medication very seriously at times before kuna time nilikuwa na nachukua dawa za kitambo zinaitwa first generation hizo mm-hmm. ningefanya hakuna kitu ningefanya ningelala niende kwa watu nikikulanga nikiombanga chakula na nikakaa hivyo that time i was at home back in elbagon where i stay where pale nimezaliwa na nikakaa hivyo mpaka wakati nilikuja Nairobi sasa nikaanza kuambia kuna da nini nikaanza ku kuambia kuna dawa zingine zinaitwa second generation hizo second generation at least hata kama ni expensive they have less more side effect mm-hmm. so i'm able to take them in the morning and in the evening and also to be able to do my business mm-hmm. another thing about this medication sio zote zinakuwa okay they give you to try whether they will work so ni experimental very experimental mm-hmm. so kuna dawa zimenikubali mimi meaning that i can tolerate its side effect yeah. with no much struggle na hizo ndizo natumia leo for maybe a month una spending mm. how much on medication alone for a month i can part myself with 6 to 7k na hiyo tena toka kwa business bad inatoka kwa biashara yangu uh-huh. na then una sometimes mnasumbua watu unawaomba unaambia wa boost uh-huh. then hawana sometimes which you can't do anything about na sisi yeah. NHIF ina support any aspect of heat treatment yes no 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 NHIF does not uh-huh. yeah so it is very on my pocket uh-huh. yeah NHIF what it does when you are admitted as in patient in malaria yeah. is when it will cater for you but once you are out you start by medicine okay. and it has affected us so much because what happened me i better go i do biashara for a week i buy medication for a week to push me here. Mm-hmm. instead now since i'll not take them because they are the one which has managed me yeah. this way mm-hmm. this far Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Kwa size vile unasema una spend that much mm. na bado kuna haya mahitaji mengine. Yeah, there is a lot a lot. Imagine like now you stay in Nairobi, you have a house to pay, you have a rent, you have a rent, you have school fees for your kid, you have uh, bills to pay with this economy. Mm-hmm. I really even sometime I part myself, I say I try Yeah. because now sure when you see me walking on the road you not understand that i have any condition yeah. but i try my level best to cater for all that mm-hmm. yeah for that one person who is watching you out mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. and they probably want to support you maybe in terms of medication or mm-hmm. kwa business yako maybe wakusaidia ta mm-hmm. grow kidogo yeze kufanya more than what it's doing right now mm-hmm. wanaweza kupata wapi Wow, that can be very good nani mm. because now sometimes i have worked in this business for 11 years working business moving from one place to another which is okay yeah but if i got a, a cash shop somewhere which i have ever been able to to locate one or to start one because of my financial problem mm-hmm and also those people who could like maybe to stand with me for medication and uh, so that I can just stop so much struggling do you know one thing that I don't shy to say mm-hmm. people like us who suffer from mental illness need a lot of support yeah. because we can't uh, okay we try but we can't perform like a normal person who has no condition because we have medication and also our body a week mm-hmm. or because maybe because of the effect so I told you that area because of uh, that tiredness we need support yes and um they can list me on my phone can you give me yeah, them sure you can give your phone number 
0715-855-002. If they can get someone there who can help me, mm -hmm. me I can appreciate because I really struggle on a daily basis. It's a, okay, you will wake up, you know, okay, you have a business, but you don't know where you are going to sell. You just walk out. I hope for the best. I hope for the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and which I think if most of the people are doing like that. True. Mm. But how when you compete now, even with the market size, mm -hmm. you want to you you're at an, a disadvantage already. Yeah. At okay, okay, compete now to uh, market. Yes. Ku, ku sell the the things that you all sell. Yes, I have a talent in market in selling okay. because I do sell. Mm. I do sell and I sell to my friends, eh? Mm -hmm. Because like now, even when I get sick, I started posting. They, they know. Mm -hmm. The customer no matter not. Sami amekuwa mwonjwa kwa sababu ameanza kupost things. Mm -hmm. Do you know I post even news in the WhatsApp when I get unwell? They will know. So they understand you. They understand me. What you see, even you can see the people, they may block you for a long time. I can want to ask me, I didn't like what you are posting because we know you are well. But since we want to support you with what you sell, we, you just be coming. Let me not communicate. Maybe you was up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then you call your strongest support system. Support system, mm -hmm. me, I say, is my family, even if not monetary, they are there for me. And they love me unconditionally. And also, mm -hmm. my wife since started medication, he has been there for me yeah. because he say, if I take medication, I'm okay. Yes. So you have to make sure medication is catered for throughout. It's a priority to mm -hmm. me. We are going for review, following the clinics. It helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Even if I feel that I'm okay, and I'm told you to go on a certain day. Let me not fail to go. Yeah. Let's go for assessment, for clinic, for review, so that you can give them uh, the feedback how you are going on. They monitor you. And it mm -hmm. helps a lot. And I'm sure I know there is a lot of people outside there who are struggling in this. With the symptoms, yet they don't know what. Yeah, this a problem. lot. What a is lot. this one advice you have for them? To maybe an honor, a corner, an honor some things that are not real, but at that point I understand. Mm. What is this one message you have for them? Me, what I can say is to seek help. There is, there is help. Don't stay with a person and start judging that person, mm. how bad or mischievous, how naughty or weird he is. Mm. At least it's good to look for counselor to go to search for help. There is a, okay, me, I always advise people to come to Malari. They seek, uh, there is a lot of psychologists there who can help you. By that time, when we started getting treatment in Malari, I could a psychologist, mm -hmm. so at now, okay, even people did not talk more about, I make more about mental illness after squeezing the my hands, mm -hmm. I could Hakukwa na mambo ya mental illness. So watu walikuwa wanafungiwa huko wanachapwa lakini the scenario the we have changed that narrative through talking like me. Mm -hmm. I like advocating for my story yeah. so that it can change someone. So those people who are hearing those voices, those people who are seeing things that are not realistic, they can get help. They can go to their county level hospital and then they, they are checked and those people who those people who have mental illness as like myself yeah. to continue with the medication so that they can be functional and productive. Awesome. Yes. Thank you so much, Samuel Kwa. Mm. Kukubali ata kushare story yako na sisi. Yes. Ata kujaribu kukumbuka some of the most painful past in your mapitia. Na bado, kama nige kupatia zote. <laughs> Imagine like 15 years, ukiwa na incident, relapse all the mm. time. is a very big story. Ukisema wakati unapatanga relapse, mm. kuna triggers zinafanyanga mtu. Yes. 
what are those things so that to maybe mwenye anaangalia story yako na hmm. ako na mtu ana struggle na mental illness anaweza avoid kufanya some of the things that cause triggers in, in people okay triggers uh-huh. they may be in the, in the, you can you can prevent them uh-huh. but now when like when you are jobless that can trigger you yeah when you 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 have lost someone that one can trigger you can't control them. you can't control you can't control you uh-huh. so you find that things that you 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 like doing you are unable to do them anymore yeah? Yeah. so those are some of the red flag mm. you should look then you go for help okay yeah thanks samuel mm. na from tuko family tunakutakia kila lahiri mm-hmm. even as you continue to hope for the best and expanding your business and growing even some more um, we wish you the very best thank you so much and to you to family who are watching this story and you would like to support Samuel we will link his number on the pinned comment so that you can reach him and walk the rest of the journey with him and thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the show my name is Yvonne Kawira keep it up